Hola, soldiers. What's shaking? Coach Donna J here, aka Savvy Soldier, the bossless boomer. And I just want to welcome you to the channel, Savvy Soldier, where I share information on living in Mexico, ways to earn money while living abroad. Uh, in particular, I talk about the TEFL certification that I received while in Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico. I talk about travel and the health benefits of that and other things that are of interest for us baby boomers and late bloomers. So today what I want to talk about is getting your temporal visa for Mexico. News flash, the, sov the, 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 sov the, the uh, amount that you need for solvency has gone up 22%. 22%. So uh, back in December, I would have qualified for the permanent with my savings that I have and my monthly pension that I get. But, you know, I waited too late, dragged my feet, partied a little too long or relaxed a little too long. And now here it is, February 2022, and I go and I meet with my notare uh, Wednesday. I went Wednesday. February the 9th, and a wonderful lady. Her name is um, Anna Sillers. She's right here in Guadalajara. Matter of fact, her office is literally one block away from my casa. And I went, had a, seat, uh, a meeting with her. Um, she gave me the information that I needed. Um, I did go ahead and secure her with a, um, with a payment. Um, retainer's fee. Uh, it was only uh, 3,000 pesos, which is $150 US. And um, what she will now do for me is schedule my appointment um, at an available uh, consulate. Um, I'm looking towards going uh, sometime next month to uh, Detroit. But if something in Louisiana or something in North Carolina or somewhere else um, comes available, I would be willing to go there to um, get the get the process started so that I can head back in with my temporal visa. Now, that will mean that I will have to renew it uh, next year, and then next year when I renew it, I can renew it for one, two, or three years, um, after which I can become permanent. So, I don't think it's a bad thing. It's just that I want you all to know that if you are thinking about doing it, you may want to get get the ball rolling because um, I don't know. We don't know the price or the amount for solvency could go up again. Now, the other thing is, is that when I get there, because the increase has been so recent that even though I'm applying for temporal you know, I, I might find somebody there on a good day with a good attitude and I may go, they may give me permanent. That has happened. When people have been um, signing up to get temporal, they walk out of there with permanent. So just a word of precaution. Um, I think that it's best that you get someone who is well-versed in the process, someone who has excellent English if you don't have um, a handle on the uh, Mexican language, Spanish, um, I think that's I think that's the best route to go. Again, her name is Anna Sillers here in Chapala. Um, there is another person that's uh, available in Guadalajara, but because I um, first heard about Anna through the face group, group uh, Sisters at the Lake, I decided that I would go with that recommendation. And I'm glad I did. So I will keep you guys abreast as how the process is rolling along. And until next time, oh, wait, before I forget, I always forget this. Please subscribe. It helps with the alg algorithms. Um, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you have questions regarding um, information that you'd like to know more about, put those in the, in the comment section and I'll do my research. Again, until next time. Be well, live free, and prosper.